New at 6 o'clock, spring is here and low country leaders are expecting a high tourism numbers as COVID-19 restrictions are eased for the first time uh, in years. There are a lot of people here in the low country. News News Jordan Sayopa is live down on King Street and Jordan, we can tell uh, behind you many people here in downtown Charleston right now. Brendan, lots of people down here. It slowed down a little bit, but this morning it was very busy and the weather was beautiful. Now I talked to some people who work on King Street. They say that's great for business. And meanwhile, at the airport, officials say they're already seeing much higher numbers compared to last year, and they say it's only going up from here. Downtown Charleston busy with visitors from near and far. Where are you guys traveling from? Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Employees at shops along King Street say recent events throughout the Lowcountry have brought lots of business, and the nice weather makes things even better. I mean, business is definitely dependent on weather for sure, um, but business has been great. Um, foot traffic has been wonderful. Um, we've been finding more of a draw during um, events like Siwi and like the Charleston Wine and Cheese Festival. Um, stuff like that brings a bigger pull in. Paige Vigneron works at House of Nomad, a home decor store on King Street. She says most of her shoppers are tourists. We have people that come in. The first question is, do you ship? Because we can't put, fit in our suitcase and bring the slight pendant back with us. Meanwhile, at the Charleston International Airport, officials say passenger traffic in February was more than double what it was at this time last year. We anticipate that from now on, uh, we will see increases in traffic compared to uh, 2021. And now it's spring, you know, Charleston has so many events and people are starting to travel, both people coming to Charleston and we're seeing a lot of people traveling through the airport. Now visitors are enjoying all the low country has to offer. Do a little browsing, shopping, you know, some of the stores that are here, we don't have them two hours away. So Yesterday we walked about four miles just to explore, um, so we went to the pier and then just saw all the park lines around the area. Um, it was very nice. And now that the airport is getting busier, officials advise travelers to get there at least two hours in advance. Reporting live in Charleston, Jordan Sciopa, Count on Two.